Hello and welcome to October. Um, this week I've been reviewing a recently released report uh, detailing the growing presence of Chinese ground stations in South America. Um, there's a lot of interesting items in the report and I would encourage everyone to go read it. I'll include a link in the description. Uh, one of the main uh, concerns and topics with this report is that um, China has a very blurry and opaque uh, delineation between their civilian and science uh, space missions and their military missions. And so um, there's a lot of concern that these ground stations uh, may be also uh, being used for uh, military objectives in South America. Um, so right off the bat, the, the natural use of these ground stations is going to be to uh, increase their access times for Chinese satellites and to provide higher downlink capacity and uh, data rate for um, their satellites. Uh, but there's also uh, a fair bit of concern that based on records, these ground stations are using X, S, and KA band um, receivers, and that not only are these receivers being used to service Chinese satellites, but they could also be potentially eavesdropping and capturing traffic of other country satellites um, due to the proximity of the ground stations to the US. Uh, and there's also a very close proximity to a uh, Swedish Space Corporation ground station that's hosted in South America as well. Um, so I think there's a lot of interesting implications and uh, security concerns to explore uh, with these ground stations. Um, and that's, uh, that's what I've been looking at this week. Uh, thanks for your time.